introduction video to holding surgical instruments with the scissors as well as cutting knots. Surgical scissors will have a screw identified here on one side and the other side will be clean. Make sure that when you hold the surgical scissors, ring finger goes inside the inlet, your middle finger is placed here, and the index finger is placed on the screw. This is to assist you with mainly fine motor skills and holding the scissors steady. Secondly, we'll look at cutting a knot. Using some dental floss to simulate. Once you see the surgeon, go ahead and set up for the beginning of the knot time. You'll go ahead and grab the scissors. Usually anywhere from three to six passes of the knot will be tied and then you'll be requested to cut. Six passes of the knot have been tied. The surgeon will usually then turn and hold the knot here for you to cut. Again, picking up the scissors in this fashion, you'll go ahead and take the scissors, sliding it down to the knot, then turning so that the knot can be seen from your direction as you're cutting. Do not to turn the scissors this way, as this puts the knot in a blind spot. Again, slide the scissors down the knot, turning away from the knot so that you can see your knot and you do not cut it at a 45 degree angle and then cutting. You'll notice when you do this that you will leave approximately a three to four millimeter tail. Sometimes you'll be asked to cut a longer tail and sometimes you'll be asked to cut short. This would be an example of cutting short. A normal tail would be one cm and that's usually about as long as you'll go.